Tony with Talking Carb is uh, tonight I want to talk about a uh, iPhone setup that I found to be really terrific for uh, recording videos on the one-off video, if you will, uh, using the Autos on Video app. Uh, this is a great setup for the salesperson who's going to maybe do two or three or four uh, videos a day. So they don't actually want to have a big bulky setup, but they want something that they can you can transition from doing you know using it as a cell phone to using it as a uh, video camera with good lighting and good stability. So we'll start with the case. The case that I use for this particular setup is a case made by Quadlock, and uh, I'll put some links in the video down below. But Quadlock is a case that is. Uh, very durable. It's felt lined. It's one piece with no moving parts and your your phone basically snaps into it and it's good to go. Your phone's not going to fall out of it. So this is the iPhone 6 quad lock case. Uh, but tonight I'm going to show you my iPhone 7 quad lock and the only difference between the two cases is of course the, the cutout bezel for the lens um, is larger on the iPhone 7. Uh, but I've had the iPhone 6 for more than two years and I've dropped it several times. Never broke my, my phone and uh, the case hardly shows any wear and tear on it. So this is the quad lock case and the feature that makes this so good for uh, doing one-off uh, videos uh, is the way that the back of the, the case works. The back has a female end of the quad lock so it's four different points that connect together and you use this with their uh, tripod adapter, which is what I've got right here. And the idea is on the bottom of the tripod adapter, you can see that there is a, a quarter inch uh, screw hole, uh, which will allow you to mount the adapter onto a monopod, tripod, or selfie stick. So here I've got a monopod, and I can just go ahead and screw that in there, and it'll stay on, and it gives me a nice steady handle to be able to do my videos with. So that's on there as one piece. And then when I'm ready to do a video for my customer, I don't have to carry this around. I can just grab it out of my office. Um, this will fit right into my pocket. It doesn't snag. I just leave it on as my everyday case. But then when it's time to do a video or take a photo or what have you, then I'm going to just take the quad lock tripod adapter and snap it in like so. Okay. So it's just that easy. I don't need any tools. It just snaps right in and it's good to go. You can see it's locked in there pretty uh, securely. Depending on the, uh, the monopod or the, the selfie stick or what have you that you're mounting it on, you could also set it up in a uh, portrait mode. This particular uh, monopod isn't conducive to that, but most selfie sticks are. So you could actually have it in a portrait mode as well. But the Autos on Video app is designed to work uh, taking photos and videos in the landscape mode. So you can see that that's on there really good. It's pretty firm. It's not going anywhere. And I can get a good grip on that and do my photos and my videos. So very, very handy in that regard. Now the other thing that I've done with this particular device is um, you can see here there's a silver uh, disc in the middle of this piece. I actually bought a magnet, a neodyme magnet, and I super glued it onto the inside of this. And so it's a powerful magnet. And then I went online and I bought some of these uh, very small LED uh, lithium ion lights. And I'm just going to turn that on, move it away from the camera. So they're very bright and they allow you to get the interior of the car and light it up. So the purpose of the magnet was. I took the light and I mounted just a small steel disc on the back again with super glue and then the magnet just connects and holds the light on like that. So now I've got a lighted monopod and when it comes time to do my videos I'm good to go. All I have to do is snap my phone into the quad lock case and I'm up and running with a monopod in my hand nice and steady easy to reach in the car to do my videos and I can do my photos and when I'm in a, on the inside of the car I can go ahead and just turn the light on and now I've got a nice steady bright light as I'm trying to uh, do my videos so 
it, there is a significant difference. And I'm gonna show you, here's, here's the poster with the light. I'm just gonna video this. So here's the poster with the light on it. And I'm recording this on my iPhone right now. All right, and then I'm just gonna pop the light off and show you the difference in the lighting. So a pretty significant difference in the lighting. In fact, so much so that I'm picking up a shadow from my light on my uh, Galaxy phone. But if I put this light on, it knocks that shadow almost completely out. So if I'm recording the inside of a car, I'm gonna have good solid lighting. And when I'm done recording, I can just go ahead and pop my phone off, throw it back in my pocket. I'm done with my monopod, put it back in my car or in my office, wherever I keep it, and I'm good to go. And my phone, I'm up and running, so no moving parts. One last piece that I've added to it is on the bottom here, I put another magnet on this particular monopod. And I did that because it will allow me to take my, my phone and let's say I want to mount it, I want to put it on top of a desk or something, um, steel to hold it steady so I can do a selfie video or something like that. This magnet, it will do the trick on that. So it just it's all on there all the time. Maybe if I want to hang it from uh, the roof of a car, the magnet in some cars is powerful enough to, to grab the, uh, get through to the roof of the car or another steel structure in the car. So that's my setup for uh, my quick and easy compact, monopod um, iPhone stabilizer. Hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you like this video, pre please uh, subscribe below and um, like the video if you like it. And any comments or feedback would be great too. Thanks for watching. This is Tony with Talking Car Biz.